an emotional farewell for a man many here considered a saint. Amen. Samuel Huck was killed in a savage knife attack on 2nd November. The 81-year-old had refused police protection despite threats. Everyone here wants to be a part of this momentous occasion as Maulana Samuel Haq is laid to rest on the grounds of the seminary that he ran for decades, the Darul Ulum Haqqaniya. For these people, the Maulana was a father figure, was an educator, was a humanitarian who held better thousands of lives. He was a religious scholar who envisioned a more political role for Islam. Haq's supporters say he was responsible for an intellectual awakening for Sunni Diobandis. People like him are born once in a lifetime, those who serve their faith and their country. He was a very gentleman and kind person and he had respect across all the sects of the living in Pakistan. He worked very hard for Islam and Jihad. In the 1980s, Samuel Haq gained notoriety with a call to holy war or Jihad against the Soviets. He was aided in this mission by his namesake, Pakistan's then ruler, General Ziaul Haq. By promoting jihad, Haq inspired a generation of students who would continue to fight long after the Soviets had gone. Samuel Haq leaves behind a contentious legacy. But his detractors say that by enabling the Taliban, he sowed the seeds of conflict in Afghanistan and Pakistan for years to come. Zarghun Shah, a reporter for Pakistan's Geo Network, says Samuel Haq's use of seminaries to promote jihad has already changed the region. They are very clear about jihad, they don't hide it. So if you talk in your own terminology, you can call it good or bad, but in their terminology, it is one. That is the path of Allah and we have to do it. It is obligatory on every Muslim. A man who inspired millions to war was also responsible for defending polio workers in 2013 at a time when they were being killed by the Pakistani Taliban. In later life, Haq often told reporters he was a peacemaker. For his supporters, Haq was a peacemaker. But to others, the jihad that Samuel Haq promoted will be his defining legacy. Ali Mustafa Tiati World in Akola Khatak, Pakistan.